welcome to the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. We're at Liberty Benton to chat Eagle football with head coach Tim Nichols. Thanks for joining us, Tim, and good mm -hmm. to see you again. Must be exciting to get the guys out here for another year of training camp. Year nine for you as head coach here with the Eagles. Yeah, you know, it's uh, you start spending your time in January, February, and then you get into the summer, and, and just being in full pads yesterday and just getting to see, you know, besides helmets and, and things, so... Yeah, it's kind of like that, just that annual migration, and, and uh, now it's time uh, things get a little bit more serious now. Absolutely. Before we talk about 2015, want to take a look back at 2014, another 10-0 season for Liberty Benton, second in a row, and then you lost to Coldwater, the eventual state champs, in the regional finals. What are the takeaways from 2014? A success in your eyes? Well, you know, we just had, you know, once again, the, the, the kids run the show. I mean, they really do, and... and you know, that was their expectation. They wanted to, you know, get back to, to week 11. You know, they, and it's always, we always want to be playing for a league title if we have an opportunity, in which we did there again at the end of the year and had some great games with Van Buren and McComb. Um, then the year before, you know, we, we played year on and played them pretty good, but, it, it, you know, we didn't get any farther in week 11. So the, uh, you know, the bullseye was we, we got to get past week 11 and it, we were able to accomplish that. And, you know, um, once again, cold water, it's, it, it, it's, it's you know, a lot of programs um, kind of come up on the short end of the stick. We played well that night and just wasn't meant to be. So, you know, I gave our seniors something as they look back. And, um, you know, uh, I think we accomplished, you know, quite a few things. And once again, now that set the bar for, uh, uh, you know, for 215. And, and hopefully these guys here will, um, you know, figure out a way to, uh, resemble what we did in the last couple of years. Yeah, we've got a good pattern going, getting further and further each year as you go. And to make it back to the postseason, you'll have to rely heavily on some returning guys. And I think that starts with Nathan Kraft, right? Yeah, you know, as we sat here a year ago, you know, we, we knew we had about six or seven kids that either started since they were freshmen or sophomores and had played a lot. Um, this year, that's not quite the case. Um, so there's a lot of unknowns, but one of the knowns is Nate, you know, he's you know, going to be a three-year starter for us here. And um, so, you know, from the offensive standpoint, um, you know, I don't think it's any secret. He knows we're going to lean on him. And, and, and with a young line that we're going to put in front of him and some, some kind of some inexperienced guys on the perimeter, um, you know, his, his job is to take care of his business. And, and he understands that um, he's got he's to figure out a way to get make people around him better as well. And, and that's that's probably the biggest hurdle that, you know, that we're facing right now. So um, it won't be long. We'll find out how that starts working out. Yeah, you mentioned it graduated a strong offensive line and uh, just a lot of great seniors in, in on last year's team. What do you think the guys coming up this year learned from last year's group and hopefully they will put into into focus here in 2015? Well, hopefully they, they kind of caught on. You know, that it was, you know, each year a team takes on its own little personality, but you know, those kids definitely had some personality for us, but when it came time on Friday nights, um, you knew where they were going to compete. Um, you knew they were going to be physical, and, and that's what we did for 10 weeks, and then that's what we did for, you know, basically three weeks of the playoffs. So, you know, you come out here, you want to have fun. It, it is athletics, and then there comes a time when it's time to go, and I think that the seniors, for the most part, last year had, to, had a pretty good balance with that, and, um, you know, hopefully that's what they took away, but... Um, when it's time to compete, it's time to go. And now we're finally getting to a point in the year where we're going to see if they get that it's time to go. Right. What can we expect on the defensive side of the ball? Well, you know, they, both sides kind of really mirror each other. I mean, we lost three out of our uh, front four mm -hmm. um, to graduation on, de on the defensive side, just like we lost four out of the front five on the offensive Jake side. Brown so, you know, it, it, it kind of starts there. You know, we got Jacob Schindler back there at the end, and the others are going to be unknown of what we're doing. So, you know, he needs to help us with that. We have Alec Rhodes back, and, you know, we for now we moved him into the middle. Um, so he's going to play Mike for us. Um, you know, he's been a three-year starter for us. Um, but we're going to have, you know, Clay's back at, at one outside linebacker, and we're, we're searching for another one right now. So um, our secondary right now is kind of senior-laden. Um, you know, they've all played, gotten minutes on Friday nights. You know, some were true starters, some got time as it went. So the back four are pretty seasoned. I mean, it's going to say senior in front of their name. So, um, 
They, that better be a, a solid start for us. And we'll, you can find a linebacker, and we know Alex a proven thing. So um, hopefully it'll all kind of play out, and uh, if it doesn't, you adjust to what's what bumps in the road. And um, you know, I, I know our defensive staff, Scott Arnold, and those guys will, when it comes time to prepare for Week One with Winford, um, hopefully we'll be ready to go. Yeah, let's talk about that schedule. Could challenging. In the non-conference, Winford week one at home, and you guys defeated them last year at Winford, but a playoff team. What do you need to do to prepare out of the gate for a challenging week one game? Well, we need to have a really good couple weeks here, you know, with, with Grove coming in on a scrimmage. That was a great scrimmage last year, and it was a good eye-opener for us, you know. Uh, we weren't in very good shape. I don't think we was in the right mindset, and and that was good. You know, we left we left over there knowing that uh, we had work to do, and, and it got better from that point on. So, um you know, we need to we need to, to tighten up everything we need in the next couple of weeks, and then Winford is going to, uh, you know, they're going to throw a tremendous challenge at us. They got a lot back. I know they have high expectations over there, and, um, you know, it, it's going to be a fun night here. And then you get into the BBC schedule a little later on, and BBC had a really good year in 2014, and I would expect the same here in 2015, but you guys got to have the target on your back. You're the champs on the Blanchard side. Uh, but I'm sure we do. Um, you know, we don't, we don't really talk about defending it because, you know, this, this team has a one-year shelf life and, and we haven't accomplished anything yet. And, uh, um, you know, when you, when you look at what's coming and, and you know, the, the league probably will have a little bit better balance, but, you know, I, as it goes on and, and we can take care of some things, there's some, there's some games with Van Buren McComb there toward the end of the year that uh, really could be... Uh, uh, could really be some you know some exciting football if, but we got to take care of a lot of stuff prior to that point so just glad to let you know let's get this thing started and, and the, you know, the questions start getting answered yeah it's tough to look ahead in the bbc when each week it's it's going to be a, a challenging opponent leaving you with this what do you think the biggest strength is of this liberty benton team in 2015 well i, I the, the strength, hopefully, that we have is uh, what those seniors may have left with us is, you know, I think as the weeks went on last year, and especially probably in the playoffs, we became a, a pretty close team. It was kind of neat to see how, I don't say we were distant to begin with, but they genuinely liked to be around each other. They didn't want to, they held themselves accountable to each other. And, and we've seen some of that. Um, that's got to continue to grow. Um, you know, the, the, the tighter you become and the more you know people are counting on you, the higher you perform. And so hopefully they took that away from that group. And um, it's going to be up to these guys, these seniors, to, to carry that on and um, hopefully be a good ride for our program and the community. Well, thank you very much, Coach Nichols. Best of luck to you this season. We need to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. But when we come back, Mark Kuntz is going to chat with some of the Eagle players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. I'm Mark Kuntz as we continue with the Liberty Benton Eagles, the Blanchard Valley Conference champions from a year ago, joined by three of the seniors from the BVC champs as we are with Alec Rhodes, Jacob Schimler, and Nathan Kraft. And Alec, last year, Defensive Player of the Year for the BVC, but this year a slight change as they're moving you from outside linebacker to middle linebacker. How have you, are you feeling comfortable with that move inside? I'm comfortable with the move. It's just a little bit different with the reads. I'm now reading the center, and you know, it's more of a fill position than a um, than a scraping position. So I gotta get used to that. But other than that, I'm pretty comfortable with it. Yeah, I mean, for when you're on the outside, you're a little bit more able to make plays. Middle, you gotta be a little bit more cerebral. Right. Yep. It's a uh, it's a challenge, but it's something I can work through. It's. I'm, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Schimler, as you get ready for this season, have you seen some good progression so far as we tape this about a week into training camp? Do, do you like where your Eagles are right now? Yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. Like The young guys are stepping up pretty good, so I'm liking how it's going. Nathan, you guys have ruled the BBC the last couple of years. As your senior this year, how important is it to, to keep that BBC title here at Liberty Benton? I mean, like it's pretty important. I mean, the seniors before us always like set the bar, so we just gotta keep it there and be humble and work hard every day. So. 
How much motivation do you take out of what happened at the end of last season, losing to, to Coldwater? No shame in losing to the state champions, but at the same time, yeah. you guys want to keep on going one game further. I mean, it's always in the back of our mind. We always, you know, focus on that when we're conditioning and stuff. So, I mean, just got to keep working hard, and hopefully that won't happen this year. Jacob, how is the offensive line looking? I know, obviously, you got to replace a couple of, of key players in that line from last year. Yeah, the, it's it's looking pretty good. I mean... We still have a lot of work to do, but from right now, it's not bad. All right, we're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System when we return more from Liberty Benton and WOSA. We continue with the Liberty Benton Eagles here on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System as we're joined now by three more seniors, Mason Rose, Jeff Gerke, and Matthew Groves down the end. Matthew, let's start with you. We talked to, to Jacob about the offensive line, the way it's come together, replacing quite a few starters from last year. What's your perspective on how this line's coming together? Uh, just like he said, I mean, everything's it's coming together nicely, I guess, but we still got a lot of work to do compared to last year. Not as strong as we were, but... Yeah. Jeff, uh, another one of the questions marks is how do you replace Austin Combs? Big running back last year. He has graduated, of course. Do, are, are you starting to see uh, that is there going to be a group committee approach to, to t taking all those carries and yards that Austin was responsible for? I'm not sure yet, but like we're working on Alec is mostly taking most of the reps in the spring thing. But there might be a committee if we, he needs a break or anything like that. Mason, let's talk about the schedule a little bit. Open up at home against Winford, travel to Bowling Green, and then you got Corey Rawson to start the BVC schedule. I, I would think Winford and BG are probably two good ways to get ready for a BVC that's going to be quite challenging. Yeah, they uh, they've always been good, and we've always had um, we've always had troubles with them. BG last year they they had full momentum, and we just got a lucky break with the lightning, and we came out Saturday prepared, and then we finally stepped up. Now you guys obviously won the Blanchard Division last year. Last year, this is the last year for the Blanchard and Valley Divisions. They'll go to a full 14-team conference alignment to, in the future. But uh, do you take pride in winning that first ever Blanchard Division title? Yeah, um, I think it's something special that we've done. I mean, just to win the BVC back-to-back, -back, I just think it's something cool, and I hope that we can carry it out this year and do it again. Jeff, you look at Arlington, Macomb, your, your divisional rivals. They gave you guys a battle last year. You obviously, you got both of those victories, though. You, you looking forward to, to seeing those guys again this year? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Those are the funnest games in my mind. I mean, the non-conference teams are tough, but like it's something about playing the kids around here. It's a totally different ball game. Matthew, you got a little time before that season opener against Bucyrus Winford. What do you guys need to get accomplished between now and then? Uh, probably fine-tuning everything play-wise, getting everything down, getting it fast, pretty much, yeah. Liberty Benton Eagles, you're defending BVC champions in their contest against Arlington here at Eagle Stadium. You'll be able to see here on WOSN. That's going to do it for us tonight on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. So I want to thank all of our guests for Liberty Benton. For Matt Pinkle, I'm Mark Hoots. We'll see you next time here on WOSN.